ACFDA 的这个展览的场地呢，是在呃纽约的时尚区 SOHO。呃，这个展览呢，它是迄今为止呢是第三届了。呃，去年的那一届呢，是在。纽约南庄州的一个场地举办的，但是它每一年的这个场地呢，都会有不同的一个变化。现在我们看到的呢，是一个休息的区域。如果你逛累了呢，你是其实可以在这里稍微做一下调整，稍微休息一下。方面呢，他们是十分的充足的。My name is Yuhyun Kim, and I just graduated as Gap. Uh, this is my collection. So I was inspired by the Herero tribe from Namibia, which is African country. So they are wearing Victorian dresses and paramilitary outfits. So I wanted to apply this aesthetic into my design, like this big puff and knitwear, like this. And I learned um, knitting machine, so I made by myself this knitwear. And it shows that everything is came, everything came from Hirero tribe. Like, and I, I applied these patterns, and I used the Photoshop and Illustrator these patterns. And yeah, and I designed the half coats and the skirt shapes on the bottoms, and with the pleat dress. Yeah. So this is my collection. So you also do some uh, accessories. So yeah. So I use the resto fabric for my shoes and hat. So, Hirero tribe is wearing the hat also, so I was inspired by the Hirero tribe with hat. So, which was your favorite piece? Oh, uh, my... You can name one. <laughs> yeah, my favorite piece, this one. So, I like the balance. So, I made unbalanced skirt like this, so I just attach the skirt to shapes on the coat, half coat, so it's gonna be dress. So basically it's a dress, right? Is yeah, it's a dress, Yeah. but I attach the skirt to shape on the half coat. Oh. Yeah. And I designed some shirtings. Hello, I'm Christopher Cabalona. I'm a menswear fashion designer, graduate from the Academy of Art University uh, from San Francisco. And my collection is inspired by vintage clowns and purses from the 1900s. So, um, so my collection is all white because, or muslin or canvas because I really want to showcase my tailoring um, techniques that I use. Um, if I feel like if this is like in color or in print, 
um, you wouldn't see like the small details that I really put my hard work on. Uh, for example, with, uh, like this one, right? So okay. yeah, and then also like small details like pockets, stuff like these, and also like cutouts of the garments. Pants with like knee opening and the weld pocket in the front. And also I uh, experimented a lot of crop crop jacket with exposed um, exposed pockets. And for this look, I got really inspired by the overalls of clowns in the 1900s as well, and incorporating incorporating like metal clasps as pockets. So with a lot of details, like the yeah, details the like these as well. So a lot of meticulous things happening, and also the back of this. The tailoring. And and your collection actually is, is menswear, right? It is menswear, I mean, but it could also be unisex. Yeah. Can we check out the maybe some some of those? So this is my portfolio. This is from the runway show that we did. Can I um talk about like my inspiration as well? So like they were like um inspired by vintage clowns. Like you see the tail coat and then the elongation instead of like the elongation of the the pant, it would be the elongation of the sleeves. And it's side of a refined full. Because um when you when you talk about clowns you would see I mean you would you would imagine like a clown that is wearing baggy clothes. But then for me I want them to be viewed as more refined in our gen uh, generation. Yeah, these are also the clowns that are that I really got inspired. And they're like mostly wearing like canvas and muslin um, materials anyway. So I feel like doing muslin in my collection is also tied into like to my inspiration.